today I'm going to show you how to use the uh, analysis tool pack histogram uh, function of Excel to create frequency tables and to create histograms for those frequency tables. Here we have the audit time um, variable. We have several 20 observations and um, the data values are recorded here. Uh, if I want to um, make a frequency table out of this, I'll have to choose, as a decision maker, I'll have to choose what my class widths are. So let's go ahead and make this a class width of uh, 5. Uh, I'll notice that the minimum number is, I believe, 12, and the maximum is like um, 33. So I need to make sure that my class, um, uh, my, my classes include both of those. So I'm going to go ahead and create um, uh, classes of a class width of 5 and I want my um, um, first class to start with um, 10 and go to 14 uh, so that my next class starts with 15 and goes to 19 and that would give me a class width of 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here on, in this cell, I'm going to put bins and then I'm going to put the upper limit of my classes. So the first upper limit, the upper limit of the first class is going to be 14, then 19, then 24, then 29, then 34. Um, once I create that, now I'm ready to use Excel to create my, to do my frequency counts. Uh, so I'm going to go to Data, Tab, click on Data Analysis, scroll up and down until you find Histograms, click on, click OK, and um, the first, um, the first uh, range, cell uh, or field says Input Range. For Input Range, you want to put all the data, but do not include the labels box. Um, and since I have not included the label box or cell, I'm not going to check off this label. Uh, also, over here where it says bin range, I'm going to go ahead and only click the numbers that I entered and not the label. For output, that's where the um, results are, is going to be dumped into. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click or choose all of these cells from where bins was typed until uh, where my last data, um, my class limit was entered. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and click chart output and I'm going to click OK. With this you can see that the bins or the upper limits of each class are indicated. Excel automatically creates another uh, category or class called more and anything above 34, uh, above my last class, will be placed in there. Of course I'm going to have zero here because uh, my classes that I created already include all of the data values or they take into them all of the data values. So these are the frequencies. Now these bins may not be very user friendly to the eye so I can create class here and I'm going to choose all of these to be uh, <coughs> format cells and I'm going to make sure that these are text so when I type in um, 10 to 14, uh, 15 to 19, um, 20 to 24, 25 to 29, and 30 to 34. Um, I'm going to have all of those uh, in there. And then I can go ahead and uh, select all of this and copy them and bring them in here and put them in. And so now I have my classes and I have my frequencies and uh, I can do a summation to report the sum. Total would be better. Thank you.